Hello awesome person, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, that's awesome, then just welcome to my channel. My name is Joy, I do unboxings, makeup try-ons, and I throw in all kinds of things to keep you on your toes. And today is Decision Roulette. So if you'd like to see what palette was chosen for me to create this look, keep watching. <music> So today, my Decision Roulette app chose my Spongebob palette. I'm super excited. It's one of my favorites. I have this funny feeling it's going to choose all of my favorites and then I won't be using them anymore. But these are the colors that I get to work with today. So I think at the moment, the three colors that I'm going to use are going to be, I'm going to swatch it real quick for you going to be that is coral that is coral floral and then I have angry tentacles which is that color and then bikini bottom blue which is that color. I'm going to start off with coral floral and I'm just going to use that as a base just going to pop it all over my eyes. Get that on there. It's really not much darker than my normal skin, so I'm just putting it on there to mainly help. I think it's to help like um like make the colors blend or something. I'm not really sure. Like seriously, I could be wrong. And if anybody is interested, I'm using my Luna Magic Blendy, Big Blendy brush. And then the next color I'm going to go in with is going to be Bikini Bottom because that's a little bit darker. And I'm still going to keep using the same brush. Put it on the tip there. And I'm going to just take it here and pat it in the crease of my eye like this and then kind of blend it a little bit um, never used this particular brush so maybe using the wrong brush to do this with but we're gonna see if it works I mean I use it for blending I've just never used it to fill in the crease hmm seems to be doing nicely but I really want to blend that out so how's everybody doing today I am doing great I'm actually recording this before Thursday so I am ahead of myself so that is awesome I like to be ahead of myself and then Friday I have a collab and I am the what are we called collab fantastic ladies with sister fantastic and Becky's empty nest so um, my background actually is going to be different then my makeup one because I'm going to use I don't know actually which um, backdrop but I do know when I first got them I do know that when I first got my backdrops I made a list of what I wanted to use them for and I don't believe the makeup one was for collabs <laughs> So I'm going to have to pull that list out actually and watch watch it be the makeup one for collabs, but I don't think that it is. Then after I am satisfied with that color, at least for now, then, excuse me, then I'm going to go in with um, Angry Tentacles, which was that color, if you forgot. 
and I did switch my brush to my BH Cosmetics, um, I don't remember the name of the brushes, but it just says number six on it. Then I will pat that right here and then smear it. I may have the wrong brush for this too. Oh no, there we go. Okay. I'm finding out with some palettes, some of the brushes that I use don't don't really go good with some of the formulas, I'm assuming. And so I've just, I switch up brushes now and I'm finding out that some of it actually works better with different brushes. So I never knew that. I'm glad I know that now. That's why I'm sharing this with you in case somebody out there like me um, didn't know that. Then yeah, like you know you do because it uh, helps a lot actually. It does help a lot when you have the right brush. So like if you have a palette and you're not liking how it is performing, um, it's probably a good indication that you might need to change the brush up just a little bit. I mean, it might not be either, you know, but if you didn't switch your brush, try possibly, that might actually help. So... Uh, I don't know if I'm going to keep that like that. I really don't know why I did it, but. <laughs> so I do feel like that is a beautiful color. But I also feel like it took the bikini bottom blue out. So I'm going to use the same brush and go in with that on the very top here. And just see if I can darken it up and then I'm going to use that over here to make it darker here. I do like how this is coming out though. It is super pretty. I am Sorry, it's out of concentrating. I am so glad that I have it. I was going to buy it for myself, but my beautiful daughter, Miss Ivy, got it for me. So that was like the sweetest thing ever. And it also came with other stuff because she got me the whole set, but I don't like the lip glosses. Go figure, right? I'm not a lip gloss person. Um, I do use one of the glosses, I might use it today, to line some of my lipsticks with. Um, but then she got me a... Uh, it was a blush and bronzer set, but not for me. Not my color of a blush, and it is way too dark for a bronzer. I've been trying to find somebody who would like to, that I knew, because I did try it out. Um, but I can't find anybody. Nobody wants it. So I'm actually thinking about maybe turning it into, um, oh, what is it? A eyeshadow colors for when I, I don't know, need single colors. I might go back into Angry Tentacles. And now we're going to see if we can just lighten this part up right here. Just this part. It's a shame they don't have very many shimmers in this palette. I'm really liking shimmer shades. 
I want to get some dual chrome shades, but I'm not really sure who to order it from. If any of you guys have dual chrome shades or know of where to get them, let me know. I mean, I have Googled it, but it's overwhelming. There's so many of them. And I just want a couple. I don't think I'll need a whole bunch. And I just want to try it. I want something good. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, look at that. This is coming out brighter than I thought it was going to. What do you guys think, huh? <laughs> All right. Let me see. I wish this had... Um, I'm going to go back into the Bikini Bottom Blues. Um, I really need to darken my corners up. I need a brown is what I need, but there's only that one brown, and that is the coral floral, and I don't think it's going to work, so, oops, so we'll just make do with this, darkening it up, and blending it. It's really not, not that bad. Backing that up a little bit. I'm going to clean it up because it's um, too much, but a little bit of it will make it look nice. So. Okay, so that'll do. Okay. Looky there. What do you guys think? I think it don't look too bad at all, actually. I think it looks super nice. It's definitely joy colors. <laughs> Alrighty, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish my face. So this is my finished look. Let me know what you think down below. I think it turned out pretty good. I'm not too sure if I'm digging the concealer. I do think that the foundation might be my match. It's a lot better than the other color I chose of my ColourPop. But I think that the concealer makes me look older. Is it just me? Because, like, I'm already aging enough. I'm not trying to make it look like, you know, I'm 100 years older than what I already am. Okay, maybe not that much older, but you know what I mean. So let me know down below what you think. And I just want to say thank you to everybody who watches my videos. Now... If you haven't watched my Mask Monday video, then go do it and make sure you watch the end of it because there is a surprise in it for my true supporters that are there with me through 
all of it, whether it's a five minute video or a 25 minute video, which I swear I will try not to do very long videos anymore. I know I've put a couple of out there and I apologize for that, but sometimes I guess it just happens. I hope that you enjoyed watching my Decision Makers Roulettes video. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Remain awesome and peace out, awesome crew.